Triple H, ra ra ra, assassin. Triple H is probably one of the most important WWE superstars of all time. He is married to Vince McMahon's daughter, unsurprisingly enough. And pretty much, he is just a big giant heel. But anyways, guys, here are the top three things that we want to forget about Triple H. Number one, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. When Triple H debuted, I think, 1995, he was known as Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Which are the Triple H, or the three H's in his name. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, that's why his name Triple H. Triple H! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just doing really stupid things. And just, he didn't really do much when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Just, he won the King of the Ring. It was taken away from him in 1996. Just... Took it away. It was took it away from for the, um, it was some, it was, it was something that he did. I'm not going to say it, but I'll tell you at the end of the video. So, yeah, just, he didn't really get a made of it push. All it was was just Hunter or something, then a few years later, Triple H! <laughs> Number two, his Randy, his refuel with Randy Orton in 2009. Oh my god. Triple H and Randy Orton would have the one of the biggest feuds, one of the most extreme feuds I've ever seen in my life. Triple H broke it um, of Randy's house, which is illegal. And it was like like a hostage, which is illegal. And their terrible match at WrestleMania 25. <sighs> that was so stupid. Number three, the Ultimate Warrior match at WrestleMania 12. 100 seconds. Are you freaking kidding me? The first ever WrestleMania that Triple H is in is a hundred seconds. What the frick? Just Triple H, you shouldn't have done a rivalry between the Ultimate Warrior. You were just gonna lose. What's the point? What's the freaking point? You're trying to defeat a darn legend, but obviously you're too darn dumb. Obviously. Number four is Scott Steiner match. Scott Steiner and Triple H were having a feud in 2003, which was so dumb. Triple H trying to find many, 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 many ways, because he was a wuss, to get out of the feud. It's because of you, Triple H. You're just so stupid. Number five, DX 2009. Okay, I don't really know why they really wanted to get this. But, it's just simply because they didn't, all they did, I mean, back then, DX was this group that were just basically breaking all the rules and being awesome while doing it. Kind of like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Only if he would actually break the rules. Actually, he did, just, I don't know. But, all they did in 2009 was just selling a merchandise. Number six, then the no con the no confidence storyline. 2011, after a heck in a cell. 2011. Now this was actually a rivalry that I was hooked up on. The the Miz and our truth had attacked referees. They attacked like John Cena. They attacked Del Rio. They attacked CM Punk. They were here. They were here. They were attacking. Everybody, and the next time on Raw, everyone was afraid of what could happen. They were scared. They were scared of what could happen. They were scared because, like, oh my gosh, they might be a jail. I don't know. Just blah blah blah. Please, just 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 jump. Just jump, please, please stop. But yeah, that's basically. Everyone walked out. It's like, okay, bye. And they came back two weeks later. <laughs> Yay! Well, I mean, my do-it-yourself book to help me out. <sighs> Number seven, he's known for burying people. Yeah. Just if you watch the, the, a bunch of Triple H, you'd know why. Number eight, anything to do with China. I don't even have to explain. China was with Triple H up in, up in 
1998, um, I think, 1998 or 1999, till maybe 2000, maybe 1999, I guess for a year. I don't know, but they were in a relationship. Then Stephanie McMahon came, and that's where they are today. And they want to forget about China because she was, I think, fired. She was cheated on. And Vince McMahon just said, well, the jig's up. Number nine, WrestleMania 20. WrestleMania 20, Triple H, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, versus Shawn Michaels versus a ghost, Chris Benoit. In fact, it is Chris Benoit. They want you to forget about this match because it had to deal with Chris Benoit. He killed himself. And his child. And his wife. It's just, it's just sad. And number one, and finally, Katie Vick. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Okay. So, Triple H and Kane were in a rivalry in 2003. And Triple H did a very, very bad thing. He said to the crowd that Kane had murdered, or had, was it drunk? Was drunk in an accident? Well, Kane said he was drunk in an accident and killed a girl, a woman named Katie Vick. Then Triple H went to a funeral home and just made love with a doll. A life-size doll that blew up and was supposed to resemble Katie Vick. That's the worst thing the WWE has ever done. Okay, so I told you earlier that the reason why they... Hang on. Go check. Let's see which one I told you. I don't know, but they're just come on, Triple H. Just come on. You gotta do all of this. Just watch. But anyways, that's guys. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys like, share, like, share, subscribe, favorite, and pretty much thank you all for 1,000 views on my YouTube channel. Bye.